Welcome back to the channel. This is Chai. We're back here with Brody in the Brickman Valley Farms Let's Play. Last episode, you saw that if you saw, we renovated the bedroom finally, and I think it turned out wonderfully. It looks great. I mean, multitudes better than it did before. Very, very happy with it. I did realize before I started that when I was done, I forgot to put <laughs> this laundry basket back in here. On today's agenda, we are going to work more on this aspiration here, the woodworking one, which I have modded in. Below, you can find who that is from and also the playlist for any other video that is in this challenge. We have 1,005 satisfaction points. So I wanna try to get some more reward traits because in the beginning of this, I wanted to do the cold and heat acclimation or heat proof, ice proof, whichever one's that, and the carefree would be wonderful to get. I would love to get the carefree one so he doesn't get tense anymore. Like as you can see right now, he's very tense. From missing the indoors and being a technophobe, uh, I don't know why he would be missing the indoors considering he lives on a farm and he's supposed to love outside. So I don't know. We also at the end of last episode spun the wheel to see what we are going to be renovating next and we got the kitchen which is this entire area. This whole section here. I cannot wait for that. I absolutely cannot wait. So let's go downstairs and go fill River's bowl and call her to eat. And I also want to put away this laundry. I also need to go out on a date too. I mean, we, we do know people, but we have not actually become super, super close with anyone. As you can see, since this has started, the only person that we've really kind of become close with is Sarah. And that's because she works at the pub and we talk to her all the time. So my eyes are on two people. We have Cecilia and we have Rami. And actually Rami is not on her eyes anymore because I just hovered over her and she has a spouse. Brody ain't about breaking up no relationships. So my eyes is on Cecilia. So we'll see. And Bridget was a Bridget was a possibility too. So we will see where we go with that today. We don't have to go on a date today, but we will try our best. I mean, as long as we have that done before we go to um on to the next part of the challenge and renovating the kitchen that should be fine which isn't going to be for a little while anyway because when it comes to a kitchen we know we need a crap ton of money so I'm going to pay the thousand dollars we already put the permit I'm going to actually put the permit in a better place so we can see it so we can see that we have paid for it and it is on the wall we have not paid for it though okay so let's pay for that it's a thousand dollars to do the permit for the uh kitchen okay so we've paid for that so our money left is 29.91 and it looks like we have another first how can how can pe why do sims i don't understand every one of my let's plays i'm doing a sim is getting a first promotion I mean, they're not doing anything in getting a first promotion, so that's not making any sense to me. So he wants to make a best friend, and he wants to get a job. Well, you have a job, Brody, and it's called taking care of this farm and running your store. So <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there, buddy boy. All right, let's work more on this aspiration. We need to craft woodworking items. So let's go over and craft something and try, let's craft two things. We can't because he's too tense. Oh my God, Brody, can we? Oh, this is why I want 3,000 reward points so that we don't have to worry about this anymore. Well, let's check our plants first and then, you know what? We might head to the store. We also need to get more, what is it? We need, we have, let's see, we have lovely, nightly, and verdant. We need a charming, mushroom and a spicy mushroom i think that's the last two that we need oh my goodness he has flies in his bond with the flies why would you want to ew 
Try to clear roaches and try to clear flies. Why would you want to bond with your flies? It's got to be because he has the composting trait. Let's go see about sending River to hunt. Feel the love from her for 125 points because we need those points. Brody, are you going to be permanently tense for the rest of your life? All right, let's go upstairs and go to our brand new bed and go to sleep. And we will get up in the morning and we will go into the shop. What do you want, Sarah? It's good to hear your voice, Brody. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Victor Fang a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. Go for it, girl. Go for it. All right, Brody, your needs are perfection. I mean, I don't see how much more perfect they could get. Sarah is at the door. What would you like, Sarah? Have a Henford heart to heart and discuss interests. We have arrived at the store and Brody is uncomfortable because he's in dirty clothing. Well, Brody, I'm sorry to tell you, but there's nothing I can do about that. All right, we're going to go over here and we are going to craft furniture. Let's craft a dining table. I can't wait till we can craft bathtubs because that's what makes us the moolah. Unknown caller. Hey, things have been sort of crazy lately and I need a place to stay for a while. Mind if I crash at your place for a bit? Cancel! I don't know who you are, but it's not happening. All right, craft a sculpture. We need to get on to crafting these sculptures too because of the lumberjack sculpture. Because we have to make 5,000 simoleons from selling sculptures. So we're going to be sculpture heavy in the store for a while. Sarah Scott, we have been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do that? Um, we want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Um, go ahead and try for that baby. All right. Well, yes, we'll do it. We're having a baby. Okay. <laughs> you do that. All right. We just got that craft woodworking items complete. Please craft another sculpture. We'll do a large bear one. Good deal. We have two that we have done. Make one more Brody for me. One more please. We have leveled up to handiness level nine. You can now perform advanced upgrades on electronic objects. You can also craft tubs on the woodworking table. Yes, we are gonna do that right when we're done. We'll make a tub. Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna make us more money. Usually those things are like two or three thousand dollars and we mark things up. It's gonna be even better. And I said before that once we got to level um, 10 handiness, we were going to up our stuff in the store to, I don't remember what. Uh, let, no, we're gonna craft furniture and bathtub, yes. See, Brody's happy and confident now. He's in his element doing his woodworking and everything else. What are we in the store? We're at, we're at 50%. I said once we did uh, level 10, we were going to do 100% markup. And that will be wonderful. Once we're done with this, we're going to put out everything that we have. And we're going to open the store. We're going to make some money. And then we're going to go chat around town and look around for some more mushrooms and do all the things. All the things. All right, let's put everything out that we, you know, I'm realizing something. I need to put, I need to put some lights out here because this place gets to be uber dark when Brody's working out here. So let's do that. Okay, I added a couple lights to the place. I have slotted in a lamp post here and a lamp post here and a light that goes above the door. And I thought this was a neat idea. I slotted in and put a tall one and comes out into a branch of the tree and it, and it hangs low like that for him to be able to see. And I put the same light up over here. So we finally can see the frick outside when we're doing things. All right, we have put out everything that we have made. We have a bunny sculpture, two fossils, two frogs that we have found from places, the thing, the toy that River found us uh, two more sculptures here, a bathtub and a table. It is time to open up the store. And then Brody's going to come over here after he's done going to the bathroom and he is going to create more sculptures. The more woodworking we do, the closer we get to level 10 and being able to have 100% profit. All right, Brody, while you're waiting, you can go read some of your fabrication book. Of course, he doesn't even get one chance to read his fabrication book. And <laughs> somebody comes and buys something. Sarah Scott, ring up customer. And then there was another one. Ring up customer. Go get it. 1,002. Yes, for the table. 
240 for the sculpture. We sold a few sculptures and we got the 5,000 points thing from over here. So we got 660 points from that. Now we need to work on creating copies of 10 different sculptures and reach maximum level handiness skill and earn 15,000 simoleons in selling sculptures again. So what is creating a copy of a sculpture? I have never done that before. Let's set not for sale here and create a copy. Okay, so we'll leave this one undone and we'll create copies of this so that we won't sell that. Sweet, 21.42 for the tub. See, that's where it's at. Okay, we have sold all items in the store, and the store is closed. We made a profit today of 4,007 simoleons. Let's make a transfer here. We're going to transfer 4,007 over into the household. We now have 6,074 simoleons. Clean off this counter. We have nothing in the refrigerator, so let's see if we can cook some cupcakes. Um, let's do butter scotchman cupcakes. So we have some snacks in the house to eat when we are here. Given they aren't healthy snacks, they're still snacks. We're going to eat our cupcake, we're going to go upstairs, and we're going to get a shower, and then we're going to go into town and see what's popping. When the stalls open, we are going to check them and see if, oh, of course Brody has to go to the bathroom. Oh boy. Let's see about going to the bathroom real quick so he doesn't get too upset. This Keanu Reeves looking guy is always here. Every time we spawn in, Vincenzo Clifton is always here. Every stinking time. Michael Bell's calling. Hey Brody, Eloise Hiddlesticks. I love that last name. Hiddlesticks has asked me out on a date. Should you say yes? Yes, you should. And here's why. Because her last name is Hiddlesticks. That's why. We're going to go in here and we're going to see if someone has a spicy mushroom or something like that. Let's haggle. Good. We got the haggling. Buy discounted grocery items. Okay. Let's see what we got. Any spicy mushrooms? Anything we want? No. But we are going to buy some sugar for canning. That we are going to do. Let's go across the street. And see if we have anything here. Haggle with good old Agatha. And while we're here with Agatha, we're going to try to have a combo with her. She said no. It looked like she said no. Oh, but she didn't. Okay, good. Uh, buy discounted grocery items. Oh, please. Okay, we need to do... Let's see if we can get some seeds to plant. Aubergine. All right, we got all the seeds that we want for planting. And then I did get a verdant mushroom too, but that's not what we need. So Agnes, let's have a chat with you for a little bit. Let's uh, give you a love day gift. What do we want to give you? We want to give you a, let's give you a dipped candle because we have it in our inventory and I don't want it in there anymore. <laughs> Come on out, Agnes. Thank you. Did you like my gift? Yes! She liked my gift! Oh, amazing! Bright and day. Let's see if we can share the love day spirit with you. She's actually having a warming conversation with us this time. Wow, it's actually nice that we're getting a good, decent relationship up with her. I mean, she's usually just a, an old bitty. Alright, I think we're going to travel and head out and see if we can find any mushrooms anywhere. Okay, we're here. We're on the prowl for spicy and, uh, what's the other one? Charming. No? Spicy and something. Yeah, spicy and charming is what we're on the prowl for. Ooh, I found a strange mushroom that's in here. Brody reached fitness level six. Good deal. He can now show off muscles to other sims and swim faster than before. We got a spicy mushroom. We got a spicy mushroom. Finally, we did it. And we have level two gardening skill now. We can research gardening in a computer, research individual plants, to unlock information in the notebook, and water plants in a nearby area. Oh my goodness, we finally got a spicy mushroom. Now the last one that we need, we need one more. And I do believe that is the charming one. And then we will have all of them and be able to do all these dang things. What a success. I feel like there's been utmost success in this. I'm very happy with it.
Okay, Brody, I feel like we have been successful. Let's travel back to the house. To the house we go, and we will plant our spicy mushroom. We are back at home. We have arrived, and we are going to go plant our spicy mushroom. We're going to have something to eat, and then we're going to invite Cecilia over. How are our plants all doing up here? We need to water all of these. Yes, we will be, <laughs> we will be eventually building a greenhouse that is going to be connected to the barn and probably going out this direction. Okay, we've collected all the honey. We've gotten three. They're $35 a piece. Let's see if we can invite over Cecilia. Where is she at? She's not on here anymore. Are you kidding me? Is that supposed to be a sign? Come on. I guess we'll invite Bridget over then. Invite to hang out at current lot. We'll, you know, we, we'll try. Where does Cecilia live? We could go to her house. Are these, are these bees angry? No, they're calm. Okay, good. All right, Bridget Franco will be right over. Good. Bridget, what are you wearing? All I know is you need a makeover, girl. Give Love Day gift. We will give her a, what are we gonna give her? We're gonna give her a raspberry. <laughs> only, only Bridget can get raspberries from Lone Star. Very nice, very, very nice. Share indoorsy tips. I don't know why we're indoorsy. I just don't get it. Let's complain about our problems. Sing about Love Day. Let's tell her a joke. Or actually, what is silly behavior? Do an impression. Oh, that's just wonderful, River. Come outside right when I'm trying to talk up this girl and go poop right in front of our face. That's just great. Let's show off muscles. Because Brody isn't good. At, Brody isn't good at this. He's new at this. And he's like, oh, I guess that's what women want. She seemed to like it, so that's fine. Uh, da, 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 this new menu. Interests. Okay. Uh, discuss interests. I should have picked get to know, but that wasn't there. Actually, I think that might be under hobbies. Hobbies? No. Uh, more choices. Interests. Is get to know even here? No, it's not. Ask about taste in music. I, I'd like to know her traits. Where is she? Oh, she came and sat by the fire. Okay. She likes S-pop music. Okay, I'm down with that. Brody, can you sit down on the dang chair and talk to her? Sit and chat right there? Deep thoughts? Deep conversation? You know... Oh, okay. He's learned the following traits about Bridget. She's active. Okay, well that is good. That's good for farming and other things like that. that that's great. Okay, there's a get to know. Okay, we'll see if he finds out another one of her traits. She's socially awkward. Um, uh, that's somewhat okay. I can deal, but I don't prefer it. Let's have another deep conversation. Oh, God dang plasma bats. I'd like to learn her last trait. Hey, there's no dumpster diving in my dumpster. You're going and sleeping in my dumpster? She's literally sleeping, she's literally sleeping in my dumpster and then she was leaving. All right. Well, we have a little bit of a relationship with her, like friendship wise. So we'll see where that goes. I would like to learn where Cecilia lives because I would like to try to speak with her as well. Okay. Cecilia lives at the New Start Cottage. So we will knock on the door and we'll see if she's home and we will speak with her. Come on in. How cute is this place? Hello, Cecilia. You know, you were on my radar and then you disappeared. So I thought I'd come over and visit and see how you're doing. Love the loft space up here too. Love it. Cecilia, what are you doing? No, no, no. Cheerful introduction. You know, it's kind of weird how we are introducing ourselves to Cecilia and the moment that we are, we're going straight up into her bedroom. That's kind of creep. All right, the cheerful introduction. Uh, friendly, interests, discuss interest. Her PJs are adorable, by the way. All of her clothing is adorable. Ask about taste in music. How are you identifying the goldfish by talking to her? Why are we talking like room side? Whatever. Okay. She dislikes blues music. She dislikes kids radio music. And she likes alternative. Okay. I'm down with all that. Tell an engaging story and have a deep conversation. Why? 
I don't like that we're like, she's on one side of the bed, I'm on the other side of the bed. And it's like, look at her side-eyeing me. It's like, what in the world? Can we please, you know, have some kind of normal conversation? Like, area here? <laughs> okay, good. He's going and sitting down next to her on the side of the bed. Well, they seem to be getting along well. So well that uh, they're inside of each other. No, I'm joking. They seem to be getting along pretty well. So we'll see about maybe next episode asking her on a date. We are going to ask, though, if she's single first. I mean, she uh, lives in a household alone, so we'll see. Are you single? Yes, Cecilia is single. This is this is good. I think Brody's going to Brody's going to make the move. I think Brody's going to flirt with her. I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to do it. Oh, she liked it. But they're both really tired. So I think we're going to call that a night for that. And we're going to travel back home. There was love hearts there I saw. Okay, she's going to go to bed. Wouldn't that be hilarious? If he, let, let's see what happens if he gets... No, I don't want to do that. If he gets in bed with her, I don't want to ruin our relationship. I don't want to do it. He doesn't need to empty her trash. He needs to travel home. He's going to be one of those creepy guys that goes through their trash. No, I don't think so. Okay, so Cecilia and Bridget are on our radars. We have arrived... Since we're back at home, let's fill the bowl and call River to eat. And then we're going to go to sleep for the night and we're going to get up. And we're going to go back to the store area and we're going to see if they have a charming mushroom. Because that's the last one I believe that we need to find. They just became good friends. Good. Seems to me like Sarah and I are going to be besties before long. Alright, it's talk like a pirate day. Can we get that? Lecture about waking up. You know, come on River. You don't need to be waking us up when we're in the middle of a good sleep. Okay, shops are open. Let's go check and see what they got. Haggle. Share talk like a pirate day spirit, first of all, and buy discounted items. All right, do we have a charming mushroom in here? No, we don't. All right, is there anything at Kim's store? Haggle with you. Ahoy, matey, and then haggle with you. Damn you, Kim. Kim, there's no reason that you should be closed right now. Why did you come over here? No, no. No, Kim. I need you to get open. I, I need to... I've got to look in your shop. Oh, Kim, what are we going to do with you? He's always here. Vincenzo is always here. Let's go say hi to Sarah real quick while we're here. Okay, Kim, you're back in your store. Let's go... Let's go haggle with you and see what you got. Kim did not have a charming mushroom either. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go travel and we're going to check out that place one more time and then we're going to call it a day. I just returned from the place that we normally go to find if there are mushrooms there and stuff and there was nothing new there. So I am going to go over here and do some woodworking. Let's craft some furniture. Let's craft a bathtub. We are going to see about taking Cecilia or Bridget out on a date. Maybe both. You know what? Maybe we'll take both out on a date. And whatever one we feel is best suited for us, maybe we'll be with them. You know, Selena was also something, someone uh, he seemed to be interested in too. But for now, we'll do with Cecilia and Bridget and we'll see how we go from there. And uh, next episode two, I want to continue to work on this uh, aspiration and try to maybe finish it, possibly. We'll, we'll see how we go from, from there. And then we will also make more money for renovating the kitchen. We currently have 5,556 simoleons. Uh, ideally, I'd like about 15,000 or so. I'm going to leave this part here. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. And also subscribe if you enjoyed the video so you won't miss any new content from me in the future. Until next time, have a wonderful day.